Hi folks, we're gonna start with this picture. This is Hackaday IO web page where a chat with Ibn Obson happened at the beginning of this year. What is intriguing is this number, just 1800 views for a very important chat. Ibn gave us a lot of clues what Raspberry Pi 6 might look like and what he thinks about releasing a new model and we are of course eagerly awaiting uh, the new model and we hope that it comes sooner than later so I hope till the end of this year or at least at the beginning of the next year let's talk about the wish list I've compiled it from various sources from various videos and as from various written sources so the first wish for Raspberry Pi 6 is to have much faster CPU and GPU. As you can see, uh, I guess uh, at least four cores, uh, more than four cores would be great. So six cores, eight cores running at three gigahertz or more. But what is even more important is that the whole package should achieve at least three times the speed of Raspberry Pi 5. The GPU should be much more capable than it is now. So right now we have Video Core 7. We, with, uh, if Broadcom is going to make Video Core 8, then it should be at least 10 times faster than the current Video Core. If you want to run decent games and if you want to be compatible with current uh, mini PCs. So this is not being compatible with uh, the desktop PCs but only with mini PCs. What is also important for various projects is AI acceleration. So AI acceleration can be achieved through GPU. So if you take for example NVIDIA's CUDA technology, it enables GPU to process neural networks and other structures in the background. So it can support those kinds of operations not interfering with what you see on the screen so you can use GPU as a neural processing unit or you can have a dedicated neural processing unit and this is also very interesting currently you have to buy Halo 8 L or Halo 8 module for Raspberry Pi if you want to have this kind of capability so you need an external had to, to add to real Raspberry Pi, but in the future, uh, actually in Raspberry Pi 6, this should be inbuilt and uh, it should at least have certain terror operations per second. This is like Halo 8 module. So uh, we have currently one external PCIe port. I hope for two. Uh, the competition already has two and it should be at least generation three uh, so that it officially supports generation 3 without the limits. Currently only generation 2 is supported, but generation 3 you can use, but if something goes wrong, they don't guarantee it to work. It, we need at least one port with four lanes. This means that if you attach um, SSD drive to it, then it should actually allow for SSD drive to operate at full speed. So this is why we would like to have at least one M.2 connector on the board on the Raspberry Pi 6 PCB so we can directly stick an SSD without having to buy an interface board. And of course another request is to retain FFC connector. This could be one lane like on Raspberry Pi 5 so all the hats would work but uh, it would be favorable if this kind of connector would be extended to at least four lanes so you can have different kind of heads modern more modern heads that would be faster so you could add other functionality like uh, a board with PCIe switch which would support additional SSD drives and so on so it would be very beneficial for it to have more than one lane so the next request is for upgrading USB ports. We'd like to have at least one very capable USB port that would support 
USB 3.2 standard or USB 4.0 standard and it should be on USB-C connector instead of USB-A uh, connector so that is currently being used so this is very important uh, currently we only have USB-C connector that supports USB 2.0 standard but it's meant primarily for the communication to the power adapter so we'd like to, to have much more enhanced so if possible to have at least two USB uh, 3.0 3.2 or USB 4.0 adapters which would actually also allow connecting uh, other devices which are much faster so this would actually mean to have 10 gigabits per second instead of five here we have Ethernet ports we would also wish to have much faster Ethernet ports like 2.5 gigabits per second or even 5 gigabits per second and we would like to have faster Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module that would support version 7 or at least version 6 and uh, many wish to have full-sized this is more cosmetic change HDMI connectors because these little mini HDMI connectors often get damaged and you often have to replace the cable and there is one more request this is analog audio IO jack so you can use it either to record audio or to play audio so this is also very important because Raspberry Pi 5 doesn't have one but it turns out that many users uh, are then buying analog audio cards that connect to a USB port but this would not be necessary if such an audio jack would have been inbuilt so the next the last request actually is support for graphics adapters and graphics cards this is also what a classic PC offers and many mini PCs also offer this kind of functionality so not on so much on PCIe bus so PCI bus is more or less reserved for desktop PCs but we have to take into account that, that Raspberry Pi is also used as a desktop so if you use this FFC port uh, it's an extension which is very important and you can attach additional board and it grows quite a bit and then uh, of course it's important with an additional port you can also connect a graphics card a full-size graphics card to this PCIe one lane port unfortunately it's too slow for serious uh, graphics applications and playing games maybe some work uh, but uh, the others are not so happy with, with uh, low data flow rate so and of course one have uh, an option to connect a graphics card or graphics adapter to a USB port and this is again related to this kind of standard 3.2 standard or USB 4.0 standard so this enable you to connect additional uh, graphics adapters and also other devices like touch screens and so on so th this is very interesting and it would be very beneficial if Raspberry Pi 6 could have this kind of functionality chat but on the other hand the competition is not standing so for if you take for example Retza they took very seriously so they built Orion 06 which was released on May and it's really a best so if you look at its processing cores there are 12 so 8 eight hundred twenty cores combined into two groups the fastest groups is running at 2.6 gigahertz and a slower group is running at 2.4 gigahertz and four more a 520 cores running at 1.8 gigahertz so you can support all kind of processes uh, that run on this computer and then you have a graphics processor uh, ARM Immortalis G720 so very powerful uh, desktop performance GPU but even if this is not enough you can also add a proper graphics card to this 16 lane PCIe bus so this is really packed with functionality but probably what you won't like 
with this computer which also has got an MPO with 30 ter operations per second but it can also utilize other processing capabilities to achieve even 45 ter operations per second so it's really great for AI applications but what you won't like about it is this this is the price tag it's on my opinion much more expensive that an average Raspberry Pi 5 user is willing to pay. If you're buying a variant with 8 gigabytes which of RAM it may be uh, not enough RAM. So you might go for 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of RAM but 64 gigabytes of RAM seems prohibitively expensive. So let's go to other competition. You can see that there is a computer that is probably similarly priced than Raspberry Pi 5 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and this is Orange Pi 5 Max with 16 gigabytes of RAM and we see that a lot of ideas from the hack chat was actually realized in this computer. So we have more USB 3.0 ports, we have two full-sized HDMI ports, we have an audio jack, uh, we have uh, much more capable graphics processor. We have a better Wi-Fi Bluetooth module and uh, we have an additional PCIe port so we have M.2 connectors. So many of ideas were realized and here we also have uh, artificial intelligence neural processing unit. So uh, it's just got six ter operations per second, but you have to take into account that with Raspberry Pi 5 you get none and you have to buy a hat with a high-low module which uh, is quite expensive. It costs even more than Raspberry Pi itself. And uh, talking about graphics, uh, it supports 8K graphics, so it's more than Raspberry Pi which supports 5K graphics. On the other hand, if you are looking at a very powerful computer. I've also made a video about this one. <laughs> what will surprise you is this. This is, they are lowering the price. So they are not lowering the price for their workstations. So this is System76 for their workstations based on AMD processors, but they are lowering the price for a workstation, S3 workstation, that is based on RM64 architecture. So it simply means that there is not enough interest for it. So let's go here quickly here. We can see another module. This is not immediate competition to Raspberry Pi 5 in terms of performance, but it is competition in terms of industrial products. It gets very similar connectors to Raspberry Pi 5, but on the other hand, it is much cheaper and it uses much less energy. It doesn't also need cooling, so it can also run on battery power. I don't think just powering the real-time clock, but powering the whole product. So um, let's uh, take a look at here. We see that Raspberry Pi 5 prices are getting lower. So we are getting close to $120 that was advertised price by Raspberry Pi. So what do we don't want to happen is this. So this is Commodore 64, an ancient computer from the 80s and now we have a community of enthusiasts that are rebuilding uh, computers with a new technology and adding all kind of stuff but these are not the original Commodores. I do have an original Commodore, not this C64 Max or something which has USB ports, mine has joystick ports and so on but uh, the, these obsolete games probably don't interest anyone so or interest only a few people so it doesn't matter or not so it, it's also quite expensive so if you are a true fan you're gonna buy such a computer otherwise you will probably be looking for a classic PC thank you for watching if you like this video please press like and subscribe buttons See you in the next video. Bye.